There are different versions of JDBC that currently exist in our architectures today. So we want to talk about some of the differences between these different JDBC variations. So first of all, when we're looking at the concept of JDBC, we first want to talk about the version 1.0, 1.x. So the first initial aspects of working with databases was provided through this particular variation. So its job was basically to utilize access and create access to uh, drivers through a particular class supplied through this particular API called the Driver Manager. So it was entirely up to the application to actually create the connection to the actual database themselves and actually to select a driver within our application logic itself. And also the connectivity aspects, the managing uh, of the actual connection pools, the thread connections, all of these types of physical things were the responsibility of the applications themselves. So although it was a nice way to be able to access relational structures, it did have some drawbacks and it required our applications to do lots of things in the code that the later versions of JDBC were going to take care of for us automatically. So we later came across version 2 of the JDBC architecture. Now the difference with version 2 is now the role of managing the connections, managing the access uh, to my relational structures is going to be handled by my application server. So lots of things that were done in version 1 that were handled by the actual Java applications themselves. And when I go to version 2 of JDBC now, those types of functions, those types of uh, maintenance aspects are all being handled and managed for me by the application server. So the flexibility aspects of JDBC version 2 greatly enhanced our ability to access and work with relational structures and it also added another factor here that made our applications more efficient. It brought in the concept of a connection pool and the ability to create uh, thread pool connections and have those thread pool connections managed by the application servers themselves, not the individual applications. So as we go through our discussion here, we're going to be focusing in on the big enhancements that uh, came available with version 2, the concept of what a connection pool is, and how it lends itself to uh, the efficiency factor for accessing relational structures.